Hey everyone, Scarvig here in Atlas, and things are changing drastically with our base. Uh, the fellow that I'm playing with, White Sword, has been going crazy. I haven't been able to spend a lot of time, but uh, you know, when I look at the amount of time I spent building that bridge, this section is just nuts. Uh, he says he's going to put buildings all through this, so it'll be interesting to see what kind of a port village type thing that he builds and what actually goes down. So I'm not sure what to expect yet. This uh, port area has been remodeled several times, and this is the current incarnation. Oh, we got steps down, which is good. I've fallen in there a few times, and getting out has just been an absolute pain. But the purpose of this episode, other than showing off what's uh, been happening lately, is about getting gold. And White Sword himself said that there's a fun, easy method for getting gold, and we're actually going to go and see if we can get that now. So while we're uh, taking off to the point in question, uh, I should probably uh, mention I've been failing pretty hard. Um, I've sunk a schooner, I've sunk a gal, not a galleon, a brig, um, amongst other things, and it's just been doing my head in. Every time, I think I've sailed to the Freeport three times, and every time I've sunk a ship, uh, be it a ship to the dam, there was one time I actually ran into an iceberg, and it's just been an absolute shocker. But uh, I've got myself a, a schooner this time. I don't like the size of it because I've outfitted it with crew and everything else and everything's just a bit busy, uh, but that's fine. We're going to get to where we're going, which is one of the uh, towers, the forts. And we're going to see if we can pick up some gold. All right, so here we are in a very precarious position. We are buying one of the towers. I'd actually been doing this, uh, if my map will come up there, I've got a southern tower. In the hours. I have a southern tower down here which I've been trying on and a bit has been giving me nothing. Uh, and that just means people have been obviously getting it or it hasn't actually been receiving any gold. You need to do this without hitting the towers either side of it. As there will be some splash damage. Uh, they will eventually raise up and actually shoot the right direction. Threading the eye of the needle here. If I hit the towers, they will attack me. But if you just hit the bank, you are fine. Should be three volleys of five will definitely kill it. I don't actually need that many. But three volleys of five will do it. After the first one goes down, the second one appears as it respawns instantaneously. Seems to be a common thing. Seen this on uh, Ark and other games where the artifacts would respawn instantly. While that's happening, you're coming with me. We'll find out if any gold has spawned this time. There has. Look at that. How much do we get? 14,000. All of it. Thank you. And now we creep away from the tower. This is why I've got the bear coming. That's it. Come on, buddy. You need to carry as much of this as I can get you to carry. Ooh, that should do. He's got 17,000 weight. So he should actually be able to carry just about all of that, actually. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. All right. So we just got just shy of 15,000 gold off that one. Um, White Sword, who was actually the guy who's been telling me about this, he managed to pull 30,000 out of one of these things. Uh, it doesn't always have stuff in it. So now that I've actually raided that, next person will probably find nothing in there. Uh, I don't know exactly the mechanic that allows it to fill up, but I would assume that over time it will build up more money and eventually... Uh, have I think online it basically stated that you could get up to 100,000 gold out of the bank when you raid it. And as long as you don't hit the towers, you can get that for yourself. So a very, very easy way of getting money, but it is not 100% reliable because you can get nothing and you can also get very, very little. Still, I'm very happy with 15,000 for uh, what is probably maybe... Well, actually, I don't even know how many cannonballs I've wasted. Let's have a look. 
So down here, I started off with a bit over 200, I think it was maybe 230. So I've wasted 70 cannonballs mucking around with the previous tower and this tower, but I got 15,000 gold out of it. So very, very quick gold. And so that is one of the quickest ways to get money, as long as the bank actually has something in there. I'll do it again, just to find out how instantaneously the gold respawns for this one. I would expect that if I destroy this again, I'm going to get nothing. And then obviously the the stock standard reliable way of getting cash uh, or gold in the game is just go around and pick up as many maps as you can possibly find. And with those maps, you group them up into the islands, you probably end up finding you have some double ups of your maps, and that way when you go and actually do them, especially if they're low level ones, you can have multiple low level ones all on the same spot. And when you do them, you end up getting a lot of gold for fulfilling them. And that is also a very, very quick way of getting gold in the game. Why is my ship's anchor moving? Must have hit forward or something. Ooh, there's another bag. So this seems to be the active... things. Oh, 16 gold. So yeah, in the time that I've shot that down again, it's generated another 16 gold. So that sort of gives you a bit of an indication of, you know, how much time you probably need to wait. It's good to see, though. So yes, you wait a bit of time, gold refills, you come by and you kill it, and you get the gold for yourself. Uh, the other tower on my grid doesn't actually spawn any gold by the looks of that then, which is um, a little bit frustrating, because it's the first one that I tried and failed at getting anything out of. Ah, well, let's pop back up here. Well, hopefully that's been a little bit eye-opening. That was for me when I heard the trick of being able to do it. And I've already got 18,000 gold back at base. I've now got this 15,000 gold. And so I'm very, very soon going to be on my way to getting myself a galleon. Uh, I possibly will do another farming run of these towers to actually prop up my gold supplies. Because I wouldn't mind having a brig and a galleon. A galleon basically for doing supply runs and a brig that kitted out with just stupid arsenal. And I'll go around basically killing ships at the end. Not entirely certain which way I'm going to jump with it. But I'm probably going to build a galleon first. Okay, well hopefully this has been uh, good. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And yeah, go and check out my other content. Alright, see you later.